Hello. Hello. I see Rita and Sarah and Patty are on. How is everybody doing? Hope you're all good. Let me pull us up on my phone here. So excited to be here crafting with you. So as you're hopping on, say hello in the chat. And if you enjoy my live videos, I'd love it if you would give the video a thumbs up. I'm trying to see where my camera is. Okay. How is everyone this evening? I see we've got a few people on. Hopefully YouTube will get those notifications out. Let's move up a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right. Hello, Dinah. Hello, hello, everybody. Cindy here with Monarch Mom DIY. So excited to be here for our first live after hitting 100,000 subscribers. Yay! So awesome. It feels so good to have that goal met. And uh, I'm just so focused on bringing you guys um, content that you seem to enjoy. Um, these Thursday or Tuesday and Thursday night lives started after I joined Magnolia um, a little over two years ago, Magnolia Design Company. And so pretty much my lives in the evening focus around Magnolia. Um, my recorded videos that I do on Monday nights sometimes have it in there, um, but sometimes it's what I started with almost five years ago the budget home decor, like Dollar Tree type DIYs. Hello, everybody. Yay. All right. You guys must have gotten notification. Erica, you have a different YouTube name. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So right off the bat, how many of you guys have been following on Facebook the 12 days of deals for Magnolia? Anyone? I know I think I've purchased at least a couple of the days, the specials. Well, that is what I'm focusing on today for a few more hours at midnight Eastern time or 11.59 p.m. Eastern time from now till then. Oh no, Marlene, don't go broke because then it'll, it'll somehow be my fault <laughs> and it shouldn't be my fault, right? Okay, so today is one of those days where I'm like, I think I might need to place an order, but I have so many of the ribbon transfers, but I love them. So we're going to do a project today, tonight, with one of the, the rub-on transfers. Yes, Vicki. Surfaces by far, 50% off almost all the surfaces was by far my favorite day. I cannot wait to get that order in because for creators, we didn't just get 50% like the customers. We got 50% off our creator price which is already discounted by 35%. So creators actually got 67.5% off on the surfaces. I had to do the math because I'm like, how can this tray that is normally $26.99 be $8.77? And that was how the math worked. So I am going to, especially in a couple weeks, be really encouraging those of you that love these products and maybe want to start getting that creator discount, okay? We have another incentive trip in uh, qualification period coming up. So yes, it would be partly for me, but really for you because I make more commission on customer sales, but I'm all about helping you get these products in your hands. And if that means you need to sign up as a creator to get that discount, let's talk. Um, and if you've waited this long, could you please wait till December 26th? Talk to me more about it. Okay, so let me show you a couple things. I was actually featured on one of the videos today on Magnolia Design Co.'s corporate page for the Rub-On Transfer special. I didn't tell you what it is. Buy any two Rub-On Transfers, get one free. So you'll put three, let's say you put these and these and this one in your cart, okay? This one will be free because I know this one costs less. If you put three of the 12 by 12 
size ones, three of those, one of them will be free. And you can do that in as many multiples of three as you want in one single order. And let's be real. These are flat and pretty light. Shipping is not going to be that much. They're going to put them in a cardboard envelope. Some of my favorites. You guys have seen me use this one, I think. The Sunflowers and Gnomes. This one, I waited to purchase till I saw it in person at Pinner's. This is called Forest Friends Transfer. I love this. Look at all these little individual things you can make. Autumn Transfer. This is a full sheet, Butterflies in Paris. These are by far my favorite right now. This one, the Christmas Charm, and the Blue Hues of Christmas. I Mine is all cut up because I've used it a couple times. Where is it? Did I leave it up here? Oh, I did. This one. Love this one with the nutcrackers and the birds. It's so awesome. So on the um, on my shopping link, if you're not a creator, uh, go there and put three rub-on transfers, any that you want, in your cart. And when you check out, the lowest price one will be free. Is that awesome? Have any of you already done? Oh, they're out of Christmas charm? No. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. The other thing I got was the two new uh, chalk paste colors, the glittering strawberry and the glittering white. Um, but anyway, let me show you a couple things. This is what I made with the Christmas charm. This is one of our, uh, quads, our square quads. And, um, don't tell Lily what it is because only creators know that what it is. Um, and then this is from Dollar General. It's just a little, uh, ornament. I just cut the string off the ornament and glued this. Isn't that so cute? And then I can do something different on the back. Also, for the first time, I did rub-on transfers on our fabric wristlet. I have to go to Hobby Lobby and get my washable fabric Mod Podge, but look at that. These are from the Roses and the Butterflies. I love this so much. This is probably going to be something that I make for my friends. Maybe when it's their birthday this year, I'm going to make a bunch of them up and then put like some fun um, goodies inside and give these out to my friends on their birthdays. Um, another thing I made with the rub-on transfers, this and this are from the Blue Hues of Christmas. Um, you only get one on each sheet. So if you wanted to make something exactly like this, you'd have to buy two, but then you'd have two of the nutcrackers and two of each of the birds. Um, and I know there were at least two or three other creators today on the Magnolia Design Co. corporate page that shared um, project ideas using the rub-on transfers. Also, I got a question. I set up a mystery hostess party for these 12 days of deals and nobody's ordering on that link. It's so weird. It's like you could have the chance to win those free and half price items. So I posted it again today on my um, Monarch Mom Facebook page because you guys, if, if you're going to order, you might as well order on that mystery hostess link and possibly earn the hostess rewards at the end, okay? That'll go through the 12th because we got 12 days of deals coming. Hi, Natty. Does anybody have any questions about today's special? And then I'm going to get started. I'm going to use this one. This is called Paris Antiques, and I'm going to use our beaded rectangle surface. So I'm going to show you just how easy this is, but this is white with the brown beads, and this is kind of a, an off-white background, so I am going to do a little bit of painting on this. So if you have any questions about um, the specials, I am mostly sharing those on my Monarch Mom Facebook page, but my question to you is this. If you're not a creator, but you've ever purchased, so Rita, um... Rita, are you getting emails from Magnolia each day about what the special is for that day? Maybe you don't know, but emails are going out each night around midnight with what the new special is. So let me know. Okay, you're getting those. No, you can, Sue. They're on my website, not on Facebook. They are not on Facebook. Should I be sharing them here on my community tab too? 
I forget that there's some people that don't do Facebook. Not that that's a good or bad thing. Um, I just know that for some people it's not their thing. So maybe I need to start sharing those here on my community tab on my channel. Thank you for letting me know that, Sue. I think that's um, important for me to remember. But if you just go to my website, uh, www.monarchmomdiy.com, um, each day here from, from today through the 12th, it'll say right at the top of the website what the special is for that day. But like I said, today is buy two, get one free on the rub-on transfers. And because I thought of that, oh, you can't see my face. So I'm just going to go down here so you can see what I'm doing. Um, because of that wristlet idea I had, I'm actually going to need to order more of that roses one. I think it's just called roses. Is it just called roses? Sometimes it's, it's hard to keep up with all the names, but... I think I need more of that roses one and probably more of the sunflowers because I'm thinking those are two that would be really good for getting a lot of those wristlets. Oh, good, Sue. Oh, Dinah, you're getting the emails? Okay, awesome. Yes, um, and I think tomorrow is a pretty good one. I mean, they're all good. They're all good. Um, tomorrow is going to be a great one as well. I will post about it on here, on my community tab here on YouTube and my Facebook page as soon as I am done with this live. I'm going to post tomorrow's because some of you, if you live on the West Coast, that special will go live at 9 p.m. for you tonight. Midnight for me, but 9 p.m. for you. So I'm going to let you know about it as soon as possible. Okay, I taped this off I want to paint this with plaster just so it kind of matches more the color. Um, oh gosh, the color of the, uh, the rub on because there's going to be a little bit of space on either side. Once I place this down on the surface again, this is our beaded rectangle surface. So let's just do a quick coat of plaster. We're just going to Give this a little bit more of an ivory look. And then, yes, I am going to also paint around the edges. Now, the great thing about this service is it's ready to go. If you wanted, you could just stencil right on this white surface or do a rub-on transfer right on top of it. But if you want to change the color, you can do that as well, which is what I'm doing. So it's very versatile. This is a one-sided surface, and I'll show you why. I don't know. I could probably think of a way to make it two-sided, but it's got pretty much the, like, the sawtooth hangers on the back, and it's MDF. So you probably wouldn't use the back side of this unless you unscrewed these and maybe made a hanger or something, but it's just bare MDF. Okay, so that is all I need to do for painting that. And we're going to dry this really quickly using our little heating tool here. Thank you, Holly. I'm going to put you up here so you can see my face for right now. I'm just going to dry this for a minute. Mama Latina, hello. Hi, Letty. Oh, good. I'm glad you guys are getting the emails. I'm trying to think. Oh, the other thing I wanted to make sure you saw was the new December Craft Club. I should get mine Friday. So probably next week early we will do that as... Um, as a live, so you can see it. I'm excited. I'm gonna make probably some little snowman ornaments or gift tags, and then also the garland. 
I'll also let you guys know I have a link tree now. Um, so I did put that link uh, in the description here. That is a one click. You can go to all my links. My YouTube, my, my uh, Amazon store, my Magnolia website. Um, I have a couple other companies that I'm an affiliate with. So um, utilize that to also send me an email if you ever want to email me about anything. All right, this is drying pretty quickly. So how many of you, this is like your, your style or you know someone who this is their style? This Paris Antiques is what it's called. It's got some French words on it, the beautiful roses. Hi, Sierra. All right, that's almost all the way dry. I'm gonna take this tape off and let's see if we can reuse it. What I wanna do next, come back down here. What I wanna do next is I wanna paint this edging because it's very white right now. And I also want to paint the colors of the beads. So once I know that this is all the way dry, I'm going to now put my tape down here. And it shouldn't peel up the paint. so that I can now paint this. You guys know I love my painter's tape. Oh, that is still a little wet. Hold on one sec. I'm curious, have any of you guys used the um, fabric Mod Podge before? That's what I want to get to, to uh, kind of seal the rub-ons that I did on the, on the wristlet. I think I can get it at Hobby Lobby. And um, it's not like I'm going to be washing these wristlets. I just want to make sure, like, they'll be a little bit um, sealed. So if it did get wet, it wouldn't hurt the, the rub-on transfer. Thank you, Natty. I think it's pretty, too. All right. So now I've moved all my tape here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do moss because of the dark green that's in these leaves here for my roses. So let's get, now I'm mostly painting this white part, but if I get a little bit on the beads, that's okay because I'm actually uh, wanting to do a lighter green on the beads. So I'm mainly focusing on the white edge and we'll do this outside one too after we do this inside one. And who knows, this may end up in my spring craft show in April, probably. I just love with our surfaces that you can use it as is for quick and easy, or if you want to, you can change it up by painting the surface first. It's just it gives you so many other um, choices and different things you can do. 
Okay. I think I got that. So I like to take my tape off right away. That looks pretty good. We will not use these a third time. You placed a large order today. You did, Andy. Did you get some rub-on transfers today then? Yeah, you guys, make sure if you're ordering, use that mystery hostess link so that, um, I mean, unless you're a creator, of course, but um, use that mystery hostess link so that you can possibly get the hostess rewards at the end of the 12 days of deals. It doesn't cost you any more to order on that link as a customer. Now, underneath these beads will still be white, but you really can't see that much of it. So I'm not worried about painting down in there. What do you guys think? Are you liking this project? Is it giving you ideas? I think this was, maybe I shouldn't tell you this, but I think this was even one of the surfaces that was 50% off, I think. I think it was on the list. Okay, I'm gonna just go ahead real quick and do around this outside edge too. Might as well do the whole thing. Thank you, thank you, Rita. Did you guys like the um, Christmas ornament videos I did last month? Those seem to be pretty popular. They might be one of the things that helped me hit my 100K, 100,000. All right, so again, this is Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Moss. It's kind of a dark, sagey green. I love how this is looking. Okay, just touching up a couple little spots. All right, that is looking good. I love that. Such a difference already just from what we started with. Oops, I just see another spot I missed. No worries, grab another brush. Oh, I missed a bunch in the corner here. How did I do that? That's okay. It's kind of an antique look anyway, right? So if it's not perfect, that's completely fine. We don't want fingerprints though, so let's fix those. Okay, get under the corner. Okay, all right, quickly.
All right. Now, the last thing I want to do is take celery, which is a lighter sage green. Looks like I missed, I think I got it. I think I got the corner that I missed. Oh, right there. Ugh. I'll come back and get that. All right, I'm gonna do just a little bit on the beads. Let me get a paper towel. All right, I might do it. I'm just going to dry brush a little bit on this outer edge too. All right, what do we think? I don't know how well you guys can see that. Let me move this out of the way. Okay. You guys see that? All right, so. I'm going to take a 400 grit sandpaper and I'm just going to lightly smooth out this inside here. I really want my transfer to have a nice smooth surface. To grab onto. And I can clean up this corner where I got a little bit too much green. There we go. Okay, that feels pretty good. All right, this is the top closest to you here. Uh, the little sanders. You know what? Go to my link tree. Click on Amazon storefront. It'll take you to my page that has uh, my Amazon storefront and it'll show you that little doohickey there. Okay. Now I'm seeing that this, oh, I think it might just fit perfect. Okay. Let's see here. I'm going to, now this is all one sheet. So I have to be very careful to not let it stick until I'm ready for it to stick. Does that make sense? Woo, like that. All right, I think what I'll do is I'll kind of center it. Start pressing it down, getting out any air bubbles. Looks like I might have a little excess at the bottom, but that's okay. I can probably use my little knife. I actually, yeah, there might be a little bit that goes over. So after I peel it, I will probably use this to clean up any that's on this bottom edge. Okay, but because these are sticky, oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Um, 
because it's sticky, I'm able to lay it down and rub out any bubbles. Okay, now this looks pretty even with the shininess, but one of the things I love about our rub-on transfers is that they're not shiny like this. When I take this cover sheet off, it's gonna be this gorgeous matte finish. I'm gonna try something. So let me see if I can show you. Do you see down at the bottom here? I don't know if I can show you. You might not be able to tell. There's a little bit of the rub-on that's going onto the frame. So I'm gonna try to actually cut it before I peel off the plastic on top. See if it's gonna let me do it. I think I'm getting it. So I think I can get this. Yep, there we go. See how easy that was? And now it has actually started the plastic peeling and it's showing me that I have it pretty much down. If it starts to lift up, just put your plastic down again and burnish it some more. These are burnishing tools. They come in a pack of three in the accessories category. Ah. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Oh wow. Ta-da! Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, I gotta lift this up. You guys gotta see this. Look at that. Is that beautiful or what? Now, if you look really closely, you maybe can see, I can't even see it, where the edge of the rub-on is. So there's a little bit of a gap, but because I painted it with the plaster, you can't see it. Now, let's say you, you thought maybe there was a little bit of the edge showing. One idea would be to... Um, Maybe take some distressing ink and go around the edges. I'm not sure if I want to try doing that. I wouldn't use this for sure, but I maybe could use a really small paintbrush. Let's see. What do you guys think? Should I or should I just leave it how it is? Seeing if I can use this paintbrush. You guys see that? Just a little bit here on this edge, the distressing ink. Well, and now I got to go the rest of the way around because, but I'm just doing it very lightly and it kind of gives it that even more of that distressed look. Aren't they, Carlene? They're so pretty. Pam, I think your friend would love it. Can you imagine even receiving this as a gift? I'd be like, oh my goodness, you made that? So awesome. One more side here. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Hope you guys like it. All right, who's gonna go put one of these rub-on transfers in their cart before midnight Eastern time? Like I said, I might have to get another one of these because I only had one. And then I'm gonna get the one that has all the different roses and all the different butterflies. Well, there it is. Can you tell a difference? Just around the edges, I just did a little of that 
Distressing Ink, just to fill in that little bit of space that was between the rub-on and, and the sides of the frame. So great. I know, Natty. <laughs> I know. Although I have a little friend who really loves roses. I'm not sure if the antique is her style, but I really like this. And I think now that I've done the distressing on the inside there, I'm just going to take the dauber. Let me tilt you down again. I just see this is how projects happen for me. I, I'm just going to come in now and I'm going to add some of this distressing ink around my frame. Oh my goodness, this looks so awesome. And that is not saying anything about me. That is talking about these amazing products. I, like I've said before, I was a little late to the rub on transfer bandwagon. I thought, you know what, I'm going to spend that much money and then I can only use it one time because I'm very frugal and that's what I love about the stencils is that I can use them over and over. But oh my goodness, the impact you get with these rub on transfers are amazing. And honestly, you couldn't buy something in the store and have it be, you know, handmade, obviously, to give to a friend for less than what it would cost for this surface and the transfer. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. That's, uh, now I'm done. <laughs> I promise. I don't know if you can see because of where my light is. Can you see I've added, oh, here you can see the distressing around. Okay, now it's done. What do you guys think? Yay! Thank you, Christine. Okay, they are gorgeous. And there's so many. Um, I'm sad that the Christmas charm is out. I'm sure because of today, the buy two, get one free. But the blue hues of Christmas is gorgeous too. Um, there's so many pretty ones that are non-seasonal. The sunflowers, the butterflies, the roses, the um, this one. I don't know if there will be a new one for Valentine's. There probably will be. But, um... This is the current one we have for Valentine's. This one is really pretty. This is Vintage Photo. It is in my Amazon storefront as well. And these are in my Amazon storefront, the little dauber things with replacement. So this is Velcro. Somehow you can get it off with Velcro. But um, yeah, so that is what I had for you guys tonight. Um, one other thing I thought about showing you is just giving a little update on my December daily book. I'm not sure if you saw, I need to trim these a little bit shorter. These are to tie it shut, but I did finish putting it together. So the wish lists, the shopping list, and then I still need to do the journaling, but I can share with you, uh, December 1st was Friday. So my husband and I do a breakfast date on Friday morning. Here's our picture at breakfast. And then I also set up my little Christmas village. So I will write about that on here. Uh, Saturday was the second. And this is my friend Lauren. We were at church because we decorated. We and a group of people decorated the church for Christmas. And then on the third was Sunday. This is a picture of my husband and I. We were at Bible study when um, we were wrapping up and I opened up my phone to see that I'd hit 100,000 subscribers. So that was very, very fun. And then yesterday we were at my daughter's dance recital. I didn't take pictures, so this is kind of blurry. It's actually a screenshot of the end of her solo. So that is my December daily. And so I just have all the pages with the numbers and I'm just gonna do like one or two pictures each day and just kind of share what we did through December. So I will be having some more paper crafting kits that you can uh, purchase and also some more um, tutorials. These are really, really fun. It's not quite junk journaling because you're actually making a book, but um, this book is just made out of cardstock. So anyway, again, my link tree is in the description here of this video. Go there, save it. You can have all my links, e my email, um, everything like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this project. I will stop talking now in case you are wanting to go 
get in on the rub on transfers buy two get one free which ends in just a couple of hours on my website and again i will start posting the deals on the community tab here for those of you that are not on facebook um and i will be sharing day what's today today's the fifth so day six as soon as we get off here what the deal will be all right guys everybody have a great night see you later